Do you ever do this at home? You get a new tie or blouse or whatever, um, and you, you, you take out an old one, right? Well, that's kind of what the president was doing with regulations today, although he was upping it, that if you really want more regulations, for every new one you come it's up Chris, with, get rid of two. My cousin. Uh, Joey Weather of Anthus uh, met with the president today. Oh. He's president of JWA Construction Management. So it's very good to have you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. I hear from a lot of small business types who I know here in this camp that sometimes regulations uh, are bigger issues yeah. in Texas. And here comes the president to say, I'm going to try to slow this process down. What did you make of what he was saying? Uh, you know, I think he has a good point, and I can only speak to my own um, experience, but the fact of the matter is that regulations create um, a cumbersome system for those of us that have our small businesses. To be honest with you, we don't really have a staff of accountants and attorneys uh, at the ready. Yeah. We really don't have the resources um, to hire uh, those folks to help us um, cut through the red tape of all of the regulations. Um, it's very difficult. It's difficult to do anything um, when you know you just can't hire those people to help you out. So uh, ignorance is never a defense with this sort of thing. If you violate a regulation, you find it the hard way, you're in, in a heap of trouble. Now, the president outlined today via this executive order that that's the way it's going to go. We're going to slow this process down, but if anyone does want to come up with a new regulation, uh, they've got to remove two others. How likely do you think that is? Okay. How likely is it that I think it'll happen? Yeah. Uh, I think there's enough regulation out there that we could lose a few, <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, um, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably going to happen on a large scale only because in my estimation, in my experience today, he is on a mission. He has an agenda and he is going to get through it. And he wants regulations out there that at least for small business people are not too cumbersome for us. You know, we he's convinced that we have to create a um, an environment for the small business people to grow, and too much regulation creates an environment where you know we just get bogged down. This looks more likely, at least from what the he president was saying, right, than uh, uh, within a cut in taxes that that might be pushed off, where they're having problems agreeing. And how big a tax cut, et cetera. How would you feel if the tax cut thing is put off and maybe for a while? You know, um, at this point, I would love to see a tax cut, but the point that there's a lot of issues with regulation um, that are all tied in. So, you know, it's day eight. Let's be honest, it's just day eight. So I'm sure he'll get to it. There's just a lot to do. Um, what is your sense of, of the, the plan to repeal Obamacare? Uh, the president was a fan of replacing it as quickly as possible, but there are some on the Hill that said it might not be replaced. Anyway. Come on, how would you feel or how does that affect you if they repeal the thing, but it's delayed the replacement? You know, to be honest, it's, it's when we look at repealing Obamacare, um, it, it's something that's a work in progress. It's right. not something that happened overnight either. Um, and it's a difficult, you know, it, when you look at the whole picture, it's going to take a little bit to get it done. But as I said, after meeting with him today, he looks like he's really going after his agenda. I know she was Campus. freaking gorgeous. JWA Construction, good seeing you. Thank you so much for having me.